Hello everyone, uh, this is a video on how to do the giant speed tank at this like the minimum requirement for giant speed 10 half auto slash auto uh, my team here is using a cases as the only non farmable non farmable uh, monster and uh, let's actually take a look at their stats before we begin so my very moss has 21,000 HP uh, I ruined him for both speed and a little bit of attack. You don't really need that much HP. I think you need about 15,000 to 18,000 for Veromoss. And oh. my cases have 17,000 HP. I was able to half auto it since she had 15,000 AP. And I have her speed and despair, which is very crucial for her. And now I'm in, I need 100% crit rate and just 20,000 plus HP because he wants, he has to heal. Shannon, 13,000 HP. She's the number one reason why my team continue to fail multiple times because she dies too often. So I recommend ruining her for a lot of HP, having more than 15,000 if possible. 6 star because it will make your life much easier and yeah my Bernard is ruined for mostly uh, speed because I use him a lot in um, arena and but she doesn't die as often I don't I think one of the reasons why is because um because of his second second attack or he has a lot higher base defense so yeah let's first get to it and see how see how this team works so one of the key things in Giants B10 is to not get killed by the crystals so I'm just gonna half auto it uh, target both crystals because I don't want to fail at this moment but uh, usually this team has about 50% rate uh, win rate uh, the cool thing about this team is because it is that you can have all of them 5 star and still do this uh, giant speed 10 dungeon I only have one 6 star which is fair moss for my entire account and I was more into farming new like cooler monsters than six star in any of them so but I was able to uh, auto giant speed 10 so that's why I'm posting this video so I'm half autoing it because at this uh, by half autoing it it increases the success rate of this party by like too far so And you can see that the spare on a cases is very being very helpful because she's actually stunning a lot of them. What I what you want her to do is to stun the stun the stun the what's this called the crystals so that they don't do damage to like Shannon and Bernard. The reason why you need uh, the reason why you need a cases is because uh, she puts dots as auto for one thing, which is very very helpful in killing the boss. The second thing is uh, by having her third skill a third skill available for for crystals you'll be able to survive a lot of the attack damages that are coming in so even if your HP uh, uh, like base HP is very low you'll be able to still do this dungeon I think if you don't have a cases you should have 6 star Shannon uh, 
Bernard, you can just ruin him for a lot of HP and it's not really difficult because uh, his base HP is really high. But um, if you're using him for Arena, you should six star him anyway, so... But for Giant Speed 10, you don't have to. Um, another key monster here is the fact that we have Veramoss, uh, who cleanses the defense break of the boss for one thing and also stuns with the second skill on the way to bosses so it would increase the survivability of this party by stunning the crystals on the way and you don't need the spare runes, I ruined them for violent but it still works as fine but uh, and also putting dots on bosses like ooh, that credit that would have been ugly. And yeah, Veramoss, my Veramoss has worked fine. He doesn't really die that often because of his high base HP and the fact that he's 6 star. I ruined for number 2 speed, number 6 accuracy, number 4 HP percent. I recommend not using uh, accuracy on this. I just don't have another violent, uh, violent runes, other violent runes, and my accuracy rune just happened to have a really good HP substat. That's why I'm using it right now. And but like, it's good because he'll be able to put a lot more dots, a lot more stuns onto the enemy. But I don't recommend it. So. The boss, you just have to auto the boss. Since we have Shannon's atta uh, attack and defense buff, and Veramoss will cleanse the defense debuff, all we have to worry about is keep him from attacking. So have him slow with Shannon's ability and. Keep cleansing, keep cleansing the defense break, so we we'll, we can actually kill him by putting a lot more DOS on it. I don't know why they're not putting DOS in, but <laughs> but yeah, this is basically the idea of it. So a case is fair moss is are the two difficult farmable monsters here, but. Uh, you can combine, you can fuse Veramoss and I honestly think he should be one of the first monsters to fuse for you although he has been nerfed recently and Arcasus is just awesome at everything in my opinion she can deal damage if she wants to she um, she keeps uh, keeps your party alive and stuff. So yeah, this is how Giants B10 is done for my own particular party. Oh, shitty room, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was a helpful video, and I uh, will see you guys on the next video.